coming at you with another Marvel Snap deck highlight for you here today with what has quickly become my favorite Thanos deck. Thanos is not only his card, but he shuffles the six Infinity Stones into your deck, which are one energy cards that come with varying amounts of utility. The more I play with Thanos, the more I've come to realize that the real strength of this card is not in the fact that he's an 18 power, six energy play. If you get all these things going, it's that these Infinity Stones really add a lot of power to the deck. They are giving you effects that come at a Above rate in terms of the energy that they cost compared to other cards you could be playing in Marvel Snap. And their effect of making your deck larger is largely mitigated by the fact that they are drawing you cards. One of the best ways to leverage these stones I have found is definitely Lockjaw because it allows you to not only leverage the card draw from the stones, but also gives you the chance to turn those stones into other real Marvel Snap cards that are more powerful. This deck I think is an excellent choice in to the leech leader stuff that's running around because it plays to the board very proactively and then it gets things like Kazar and Blue Marvel in play that serve to break the parity should our opponent copy any of our stuff in the final turns. Um, I started with this list as just a reason to play M'Baku because I was looking to leverage this card that a lot of people in the community have been kind of down on and honestly after playing this deck for probably six or seven hours at this point I don't know if this card's ideal. It's definitely won me games that I wouldn't have won otherwise, as you'll see in these highlights here today. And it does have good synergy with Lockjaw, which we want to be playing for Thanos. Anyways, we draw in Baku. Lockjaw can put him back into our deck so we can pop out at the end of the game. I would love to know your thoughts on M'Baku if you had a chance to play with him, if you watch other content creators making him. I think he's a very novel effect, but I'm having a hard time pinning down the good or bad of him. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the highlights that I have for you here today. They are some of the most fun I've had playing Marvel Snap to date. As always, if you do enjoy them, I encourage you to tap that like button to help this content reach more people. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post deck highlights here, as well as Marvel Snap game news updates and other tidbits seven days a week. I'd love to see you back again. But for the rest of today, enjoy some M'Baku Thanos Swarm. Time stone is great. All right, I think we space stone, time stone, and then reality stone here. I don't really want to get rid of Clintar because I kind of want it to merge all these together. So I'm going to reality stone Westview here. I have some vibranium, friends. Speaking of leech leader chat, that's like definitely what we're playing against, right? I guess I'm putting some Vibranium in my deck. I definitely want to get Quinjet in the play. I am a fan of Marvel comics movies. I love all the, I love most of the MCU movies. Okay, so they have a copy of Thanos that isn't particularly useful to them. I probably want to play Vibranium this turn to play around leader. Do I want a Vibranium here actually to win the left? I think I want a Vibranium left. Okay, and they committed Devil Dino on the right, so... This beats Leader, right? Oh, what does this lose to? What does Power Stone Thanos in the middle lose to? This deck runs Dino because sometimes you just spin your tires drawing a bunch of cards with your stones and then Dino is huge. Other games, Dino is not huge and then you just play other cards out. 
Devil Dino is also another ongoing that, uh, what's her name, can copy in a pinch. What a close. Ah! Woo! And Baku! Nailed it. Nailed it! I thought they got us by one shit! Here to save the day! MVP Baku! MV Baku! Most valuable Baku! Nailed it! Why does Captain Marvel still sometimes lose when- move when you lose? Because, uh, you get extra season pass experience for every lane you win in a game, so if Captain Marvel can get you 10 extra season pass experience, she does, because she's a pal. Is Mr. Negative Lockjaw viable? Viable as in can you win cubes with it? Sure. Viable as in do any of the decks people tend to favor for Mr. Negative play Lockjaw? No. I think Brood is an excellent high priority pickup. Alright, let's armor in the mid here and probably set up like our power stones and ant mans in this path. Monster Isle's a little on the annoying side. I want to play out all my things that can trip here. Patriot, a eh? Bast Patriot. That's an interesting one. I'd rather copy Blue Marvel or Devil Dino. Probably Devil Dino, right? Wongers, eh? Oh, yeah, there's... Wait, they're like Surfer, Patriot, Bast, Wong? What a weird collection of things. Maybe I should have saved the Reality Stone to win Limbo. This only copies once. Yeah. No room for M Baku. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that one before. That was great. That was excellent. A plus to whoever whoever put that one in. I am diet over here. That's awesome.
Okay, so Electro into the lockjaw path is actually kind of hilarious. I could have also been right to just play it into Warrior Falls, but you know, memes. Uh, they do give you a small amount of additional time when you get snapped. It's not a lot, but they do give you some more. Sunspot in their Galactus deck is certainly a choice. I think I'm staying in. I don't know, this is close. My dino is pretty big. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Take my cubes. Oh, and Baku's gonna subtract one power from us. Oh my god, he is that little shit. What a little shit, chat. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Look at this man steal my cubes, Jet. He's just jumping out of my deck like, I'm here to help. Oh my God. What a, oh, just absolutely brutal game. Whoo. Yes, Chaos. Unfortunately, when you hit that weird reconnecting bug, you just have to wait for it to time out. We had that happen to us on stream the other day. If Dexter used to be your favorite Hearthstone streamer, he does a lot of snap stuff too. You should make sure you check him out for that. I think if you really like Deadpool or Galactus, Null seems really good in both Deadpool and Galactus, holy cats. But I think outside of those two archetypes specifically, it seems a little narrow. Okay, wait, so there's only two more stones left in my deck, right? So let's go Mind Stone into Space Stone. Do I want to give them three stones here? I might not actually. Maybe I only give them one. Is that the wrong order? They could be a Kazardek. They could be a Kazardek, that's true. All right, I'm gonna do this. Looks like Cerebro 2 again. Which means cluttering their board with this is good. Potentially. Okay, so if we're putting them on Cerebro 2, this Soul Stone again has a good bit of value. I might honestly save that for the last turn to surprise them. I think I'm gonna Kazar over here on the right. I'm gonna move the Space Stone out of here just in case we draw like a Lockjaw I wanna play next turn. What? Clear for takeoff. 
Okay, not Cerebro. Got it. Yeah, must be Spectrum. Must be Spectrum just like playing some low curve things. I am Iron Man. Yeah, neat take from the opponent here. Okay, so if I Mystique here and then Soul Stone here, my Dino ends up at. My dino ends up a little bit smaller. It's gonna end up at 10 currently, plus 10 plus three, 13, 14, 15. So I stay at 15 here. And then they get minus four. This is fine, this is fine. I'll stay at four, Mark Cube. Combination of stuff. Mr. Baku does it again, shit! Mr. Baku's got a back, chat! Yeah, everybody, everybody laughs at Mr. Baku, chat, until he shows up to save the day. And Mr. Baku had a 100% win rate there, right? He won center and he won left. Mr. Baku, let's go. Yeah, weird collection of things from the opponent. Maybe they're booster farming? I don't know. Mr. Baku. Quinjet. Uh, there is no featured location at the moment. We will get a new featured location in approximately six and a half hours. Oh, I'll stab them here. Okay, no case spot. Yes, featured locations are a brand new location that runs for 48 hours. As always, make sure you're subbed with notifications on on the YouTube channel to get my thoughts on the new one shortly after it drops, along with recommended cards to play in it. All right, so they also have a blue marble. Glorious, thank you for the two months, appreciate it. Good vibes to you as well. So we'll play Blue Marvel here, and then next turn we get to go Lockjaw, put Mr. Baku back into our deck, and then have him jump back out again. Hopefully we draw a 1 or a 2 drop next turn, which is pretty likely considering all the stones are in our deck. We'll go Lockjaw, 1 drop, Baku. Sure, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, perfect. We'll play Baku second, so that way it can't come back out with the other one that we play. Hopefully they're leadering us and this locked jaw just messes them up. Enjoy your dog. I'll win all three paths. Thanks, bud. Appreciate the cubes. Victory. Did 
chat. I have turn one Llanowar Elves, turn two Lockjaw. That's a snap. It is even green, yep. <clears throat> huh. I might... <clears throat> Am I reality stoning Wakanda or Bifrost? <clears throat> I might reality stone the Bifrost, honestly. Yeah, I think, I think this is my play. Sweet. Okay. Mr. Baku, we need you back in the deck immediately. Thank you. So we space stoned here last turn, which means I can slide Lockjaw over. And then I will space stone plus M'Baku here. No, sorry, I want to reality stone M'Baku because I want to get rid of the Bifrost we said, right? Do I still want to get rid of the Bifrost? I think I do. <clears throat> I think I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want to do this and let these slide and then just move Lockjaw over and like have this power it up. I lied. I want to let these slide, I think. <clears throat> I also think I want to Okoye Space Stone and Maku. Yes, yes. Space Stone with Lockjaw is a ton of fun. <laughs> Bigger grief. So, we did Space Stone Lockjaw here, which means I can move him if I want, but I kind of don't... Oh, I can't actually because it's this location. Okay, Space Stone is tied to the location. That makes sense. So, let's go Blue Marble. I already snapped. I did. Let's go Blue Marble and then put the Quinjet into here. To leave us some flexibility here, I think, on the last turn. I'm probably mystiquing, mystiquing, uh, Blue Marvel. Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? Do I Kazar in the middle? Kazar still gives plus one here, and it gives plus two here, but it gives more stats in the middle. Yeah, even if they have like claw here to win the right, I still win center or center and left, so.
<clears throat> yeah, clean game. Good example of the, the space stone with Lockjaw, really. Collector bad in a Dino Destroy Pull 2 deck. Uh, I think it's worse than your other cards you're already playing. The Destroy package takes up a lot of slot slots at the bottom end. Uh, these stones all share the cosmetic of Thanos. Just like your demon, for example, shares the cosmetic with Hood. in here and then we'll blue marvel next turn i think well they're patriot they're at a killmonger deck got it i should have snapped them Double dinosaur angle? <clears throat> it might be a double dinosaur angle jet. If I double dino mid, next turn I can go Mystique, copy dino, into lockjaw, into one drop. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get to we get to mystique and lock John to put Baku in. Oh my god, I just fucked it up. Holy crap. Mm. Wheel. Pivot. Talking and clicking at the same time. Yeah, definitely, Matt is. Actually, one of the one of the video uh, topic ideas I have written down is titled uh, The Only Way the Marvel Snap Economy Works, which is going to be me talking about those topics I hit on a little bit earlier. And we're going to lose this game because of my boneheaded mistake. Mystique copies the last card, so she can't copy Dino now. Because I played Nightcrawler second. Mr. Baku, jump right! Mr. Baku, jump right! Baku! <sighs> Easy game. Never doubted me for a second, yet. Never doubted me for a second. There we go. Just like we drew it up. The mad lad did it. He had her back the entire time. Clearly, I made zero mistakes that game, and we played perfectly. M. Baku saves the day. He's a real hero, chat. A true hero. Thanks for being one of the awesome people that made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember, your likes and comments help videos grow with engagement. And be sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I post Marvel Snap game news, updates, deck highlights, and other fantastic stuff here seven days a week. We hope to see you back again real soon.